Hey everyone, welcome back. It is Tuesday, November 27th, and I just left the house because we wanted to check to see if, oh sorry, the lighting is super bad. Um, we wanted to check to see if anybody was actually working on it today. So we haven't had any progress since the drywall was completed, which was two weeks ago. <coughs> Hey guys, I am so sorry, but I'm going to have to cut this clip out because it was, the lighting was terrible. So um, it was kind of distracting. So I'm just going to kind of summarize what I was saying in that car ride. Basically, it had been two weeks since anybody had worked on the house since the drywall was done. Um, and we had already submitted our paint colors kind of right when the drywall was done. So it was like... We were just waiting for the painters to come in and we weren't sure if it was like a delay in the process by the contractor or by the painters but either way we were still super frustrated um we did have kind of a deadline because the garage doors were scheduled to be installed that friday so we had told the contractor like is anybody like we were calling almost every day i think that week because Ricky was worried that the garage wouldn't be painted before they installed the doors, which it had to be. So the contractor promised us that the garage would be painted by Thursday so that on Friday they could install the garage doors, which it was. You'll see in the next few clips that um, they did paint the garage doors on Thursday. And actually I went up to the house at like 5 p.m. that night and they were still painting. So. I think they were kind of just trying to rush in um get that done yeah so you'll see in the next couple of clips that the garage was painted on thursday and then the garage doors were installed on friday which is super exciting <laughs> December 1st and it's been a couple weeks since we did any kind of video or anything because nothing <laughs> had been done here for literally two weeks so um, they started painting the garage on Thursday because our garage doors were installed on Friday so they had a deadline um, and then it looks like yesterday they came in and primed most of the rest of the house. There's still like the master bedroom and the hallway leading towards the garage. That's still not done yet and the laundry room, but everything else is primed. Um, I will insert the video of what the garage looks like because um, you can kind of get a sense of the colors that we chose. So the wall color is gonna be that classic gray and then the uh, ceilings are all gonna be bright white so that it kind of um, looks bigger, but Yeah, we're just <laughs> For the the last two weeks we were super super frustrated that Nothing was getting done and we just feel like there's so much left to do um, I know Ricky has been talking to the contractor quite a bit um, in the last two weeks and you know, we keep emphasizing that we need to finish by mid-February because that's when our construction loan is, you know, ending and we would like to refinance because the interest rate is just ridiculous. So, um, all this time he's been saying, no, yeah, no worries, like, you know, we're on track, we're on track. Granted, we're definitely not on track because he had quoted us, um, nine to ten months i think in the beginning which would have been by the end of this year which obviously that's not happening but um this last time that ricky asked he said we're gonna be pushing it so it's like <sighs> we're just getting a little anxious because there's just so much to do and with them leaving two whole weeks of nothing being done again like it's just wasted time so 
Um, we are glad that the painters are here and they're working pretty fast, but um, yeah, there's just still so much to do. We found some issues <laughs> with some things missing in the house, like for the biggest part was the gas, the gas line. There wasn't any gas line coming from our dryer, which, um, <laughs> which our dryer is gonna be gas. So <sighs> yeah, they had to cut a, a, wall, a hole in the wall so that they can um, install the, the pipe. And uh, we had to call the gas company to come out and survey to see where they're gonna put the gas tank and stuff like that. I just feel like had we not said anything, the house would have been done without it and we would have been screwed because two of our appliances need to be gas and our stove is definitely gas. So I really don't know how that was missed. Also, there is a closet missing in the bathroom with a tub. So um, yeah, they haven't come back and built that yet either. We have been in contact with the um, contractor because he wanted to know um, how we would want the shelving done in all of the closets and stuff like that. So um, we kind of came in and measured that out and everything. And also, we're not sure yet, but he had said that if we bought a closet system that they would install it for us. I We've been looking around, but there's not many options. like. We so wish that there was an Ikea here because their closet systems are amazing and you know affordable, but basically our options are Home Depot and Lowe's and um, the ones that they have in store aren't the best and um, the better of the two are, aren't are like this, the, the looks that we're going for. So it's just like, trying to figure out what we're gonna settle with because that's all, like that's that's what we're gonna do is just settle for something. So um, yeah, that's kind of basically what's happening right now. We Today we are gonna go back to HPM to pick out the exterior colors. Um, we're gonna get some samples and see what, um, <laughs> what we're gonna go with for that. We're thinking a darker, um, the soffits are gonna make darker, the trimmer all gonna be white, and then the main color of the house is either gonna be a really, really um, light cream color or a light gray color. So we're gonna see like what looks best. Um, so we'll update with you on that after we figure out what colors we're gonna pick. And Hey guys, so we're back up at the house again and um, we noticed that the plumber came up to put in the pipe for the dryer, but also there's a new pipe coming out for the stove too. So it looks like they actually did forget to put the gas in where the stove is gonna be too. It is Wednesday, December 12th, and after another week of nothing happening at the house, they started putting up like the doors and everything inside yesterday. So they did a couple yesterday and a few more today. Luckily, you know, we had special ordered doors for the pantry and our master bathroom where the toilet's going to be. And you know, we had been in contact with the, the contractor about it, but apparently he like didn't tell 
his guys that are working at our house because Ricky came up today and they were like setting up the one in the pantry and we had a feeling that that was going to happen because um because they had set up like or they put the doors next to where you know they were going to set it up and there was a door next to our pantry and we're like <sighs> we knew that it wasn't supposed to be there so um yeah at least they are working a little bit up here um again just a couple guys but the electrician had gotten in contact with us and said that um, he'd be needing like all of the switches and the outlets and everything. So that's why we came up today was to um, kind of set up where um, where the, the plates and everything were going to go. We had like we had like different colors for the, the kitchen and now that I'm looking at him like I don't know why we did that. But so we set up where they're going to go and stuff and we ended up being short the the ones with two plates on them i mean not two plates two switches on them and um i'm not sure what happened but we're like short one box so uh, like so it's a set of four so we'll have to order that tonight and then we're we were over a bunch of outlets and um single face plates so <laughs> um i think we'll just kind of use them where we need to we like we weren't gonna because of because they were a little bit more expensive we weren't gonna use um that the silver color everywhere um but i think we have enough too now so that's kind of the update for now we our front door was delivered but they have not installed that yet i think it'll be nice to see that go up and then maybe we can start like bringing some of this stuff um Maybe we can start bring, bringing some of the stuff up that we have at our house so that it's not like we don't look as much like hoarders. December 14th and kind of a lot has happened in the last couple of days so um I think the last time that we or I had videoed um we were setting up the light switches um where they were supposed to be installed and so all of them were installed Ricky did order the um the four that were missing and they came in today which um he <laughs> paid like a ton of money for the expedited shipping but the electrician had already left so um yeah we'll get those the last of those installed um on i guess next week and then the electrician had um told us to you know drop off all of the light fixtures yesterday and um we actually had didn't have our the chandelier for the living room we've been like waiting and waiting for it to go on sale at home depot but um yeah and like since we started looking for chandeliers it has not gone on sale yet so we ended up just paying full price for it and then um when we brought it up last night for them to you know we kind of like placed all the lights where we wanted them installed too um i actually thought it was gonna be too small because like it it looked really tiny in that big room but um it turned out to be okay i think it's fine um and then we were also like a little bit skeptical about how much like like if it was gonna be too glam in there um with all of the <laughs> chandeliers and all of like you know the, the glass and stuff but I think it actually you know everything is like spaced out enough in the house that it actually looks okay so um, I'm super happy with how all the lighting turned out and um, we are just really excited like our the electrician has been probably the most on it out of all of all of the subcontractors so um, 
he's he's been wanting to get everything done so actually all of our recess lighting came in today unfortunately so it was supposed to get here yesterday and we were um actually supposed to drop it off last night for him to install all of that as well today but um the lighting is off but yeah you know mail is slow right now because of the holiday season so um so two more months i mean well i guess yeah two more months exactly two more months from today they need to finish so we are on the home stretch um it just it seems like things are happening now um i think if we have like another week of nothing being done again like we'll probably throw a fit but um I mean, all we can do right now is just hope that everything goes smoothly from here. Hey guys, I'm back again. I just wanted to let you know about a few things before we end this vlog. So at this point too, they had started working on the exterior painting. They were priming the, the trim and also the soffits. However, there was another problem because the construction guys, they hadn't finished the siding um, in the back patio especially and then also all of our columns so it's kind of putting a delay on the exterior painting and um we had called the contractor and told him about it to um see if he was gonna send someone up there to finish the siding because i know that the painters have been there almost every day so yeah that's kind of in the works he said they will address it so the painters are kind of like you know oh we'll just get it done when you know when it gets done and i'm just like no we need it done now because you know we're already behind so that's another thing and then also they started working on the closet so like i said before the contractor had asked us what kind of shelving we had wanted and everything so they started mapping out where the shelves would go and then also they started painting um the actual shelves so yeah i think that was kind of it for this vlog though um i do want to apologize for <laughs> for being so absent we i know it's been a month since the last vlog went up but to be completely honest, we have been a little bit frustrated. So there hasn't been much motivation <laughs> to post vlogs and stuff and to film and everything. So um, I think now that things are starting to pick up again, we are getting more excited and more motivated to do it. So hopefully in the next week, I'll get another vlog up because there actually has been a lot that has happened since this one. So and then also I am still planning on talking about the purchases that we made our big purchases and all of our appliances and all of that stuff um, So hopefully we'll get that out soon, too But we appreciate you watching and we will see you in the next one